to the Unnamed Music Show for another rebel rousing episode of music reviews and embarrassing outtakes. Thanks, Al, for that. This show is for the people. So people, leave us a comment. Give us a thumbs up. Hell, we'll take a thumbs down. We're breathing life into your music brain. Please give us a pulse to the music. Florida House drops on the house. You got Royce, Joe, Joel, and Crooked Eye. Probably the strongest lyrical rap group out today. On the House is hosted by DJ Drama, Gangsta Critfields, executive producer Eminem, with a host of other producers like Alex the Kid, a Rap Music, Black Keys, Boy Wonder, Hip Boys, and it goes on and on and on. Now this album was a mixtape dropped right before their studio album, um, welcome to our house. So it kind of has you wondering, you know, is this enough? Are we satisfied with this album or does the album keep you wanting more? Now, some of my critic friends have suggested that they drop this mixtape a week before the studio album was released because the studio album was a little too commercial and they wanted to stay true to their hardcore fans. So they put out some music that was more true to them. What do you think? But despite what the critics say, this album is full of mouth-watering, mind-twisting, crazy lyrics that will have your forehead like crumped up like this the whole time because you're like, damn! I mean, this every track is raw, is real rap, and it's effortless because all of them are so awesome. But what would you expect from a group managed by the tyrant Eminem? I mean, he is considered the fifth member of the group, and I don't think you can mess up around him. Each MC is from a different city, Detroit, LA, New York, New Jersey. So you have this mixture of high voltage combinations, lyrical differences, and all these things that make everything different and so refreshing. On the flip side, and can be a bit much because every track, everyone tries to get on it. So it's jam packed full of these really intellectual bars that you try to dissect and it can be a bit much. Um, but there are a lot of people in the group and I don't mind sitting through it because it's a lot better than listening to anything on the radio. Tracks to check out are Truth of Truth Part 1. This is a 14 and a half minute song um, that lets each MC step into the booth and kind of just vent. Gone, where they get to talk about their highly anticipated album that they recently dropped. And Sucker MCs. This one wasn't one of their better songs on the album, but it did have Freeway on it, which we haven't heard from in a long time, so I think it's worth checking out. My verdict for this album is buy it. There are so many dope tracks on this album that I think you're guaranteed to love it. But that's my opinion. What's yours? Leave us a comment, tell us how you feel, cuss us out, whatever you want. Remember people, choose your music, don't let your music choose you. For The Unnamed Music Show, I'm Rachel D. Peace. Thank you.